It's a moment of pure movie magic, a house-setting sale held up only by party balloons. Most moviegoers who saw Up simply said, how amazing. But two men wondered, how hard can it be to make a house fly? We've discovered really that it's probably close to impossible to actually fly a real house. But what you can do, as we've done here, is kind of fly a lightweight house and actually fly it safely with people on board. At least, that's what their initial calculations implied. So they trekked to California's high desert, where dozens of volunteers joined them, working through the night in near-freezing temperatures to build this little yellow house and fill 300 balloons, each eight feet tall and each consuming an entire tank of helium. The two pilots issued instructions every step of the way. Keep that going and I'll be back. If it worked, it would be the largest cluster balloon flight ever attempted. First time for everything. That's what makes it fun. As daylight approached, time was running out. Red! Red! And everyone, including me, got to work. It's a good thing I've been working out. <laughs> but the scheduled takeoff time came and went. And they're actually putting more helium and more balloons to make sure that this thing can actually get off the ground. But let me tell you, just trying to hold one of these down is a workout in and of itself. <laughs> and the longer the house stayed on the ground, the higher the tension rose. Would all this work be for nothing? How are you feeling right about now? I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm feeling very stressed. But hope stayed afloat just long enough. It is appropriate. Until finally, like in the movie, the house began to rise and rise and rise. A little yellow house soaring with the help of hundreds of balloons, setting a world record along the way. For Good Morning America, Diana Alvear, ABC News.